Hello, I'm Angelica Mari. I'm a business technology journalist and I'm here today with Mark Kobashi Hillary from the National Outsourcing Association. I'll be asking him some questions around engineering outsourcing as he will be speaking at the upcoming event hosted by KPIT Cummings around that theme. Are people really exploring engineering outsourcing? Engineering outsourcing is actually very mature. There's a large ecosystem of suppliers that's already out there in a number of countries. We've seen um, the Japanese automakers using large ecosystems of suppliers for many decades. Uh, and we've seen places like India grow in stature for engineering outsourcing. So yes, it's very mature. People are doing it. Uh, I've been in design offices of um, companies designing aircraft, trains, cars, so there is all kinds of engineering outsourcing that is actually going on and in many different locations. What about the recession? People aren't really spending in new projects, are they? Well, it's certainly true that uh, the recession caused a lot of outsourcing to decline. Um, certainly in the last year, uh, through 2008, 2009, there was a marked decline as people actually focused a lot more on their, their corporate strategy paying down bills, redundancies, all of this kind of stuff that they needed to do just to survive. But clearly now, as we're uh, going into 2010, there's much more of a focus now on how outsourcing can be used as a strategy to uh, achieve growth. What are your predictions for outsourcing in 2010? Well, I think that in 2010, there's really, uh, there's many different areas that, that where there's going to be a difference. But I suppose uh, in terms of geographies, obviously Africa is going to be a place that we're all looking at next year, um, especially because of South Africa and the World Cup. But just because of that attention for a, a sporting event, there'll be a lot of business attention as well placed on that region. Um, but at the same time, there's there's a lot of stuff going on around the automation um, of services that makes it a lot easier to outsource work. So particularly the idea of the cloud making it um, easier to dip in and buy products and services from suppliers without a long drawn out contracting process. So there's a lot of exciting stuff going on both in terms of the technology and geographically and where services are coming from. That was really interesting. Thank you very much for your time, Mark.